Welcome to Stave Draws, and this is a book review about Above the Timberline, a book by Greg Munchaz. Above the Timberline is a graphic novel by the artist Greg Munchaz. This book started out with the cover. Munchaz painted it because he just wanted to paint polar bears and snow. He showed it to his publisher, and the idea to make a book of it came to fruition. Manchester painted over a hundred oil paintings in seven years. I've been following his endeavors online. There is a video of the process of making the cover image. I will leave a link in the description. This book is truly a labor of love. Above the Timberline is an homage to old pulp novels from the 50s. It tells the story of Wes Singleton, a fearless young adventurer that's searching for his lost father. The story takes place in the year 3518, in a world of ice. The story is told in a journal. There are snippets of text and are not more than an addition to the beautiful imagery. In this Kindle version you really need to zoom in on the text to make it readable. But as great a storyteller Manchas is in his images, a writer, he is not. That's unfortunate because the images are breathtaking. I stopped reading the text because it did not flow well with the journal style it is written in. As I read in an interview about Above the Timberline, Manchas told he started this project by painting the cover image because he wanted to paint snow and polar bears. He made up the story afterwards. I think that also happened with the writing of this story. The images came first, and the text was an afterthought. So let's concentrate on the art. All the paintings are oils on canvas. Manchester paints in a very loose style, and yet it looks very realistic. When you zoom in on the images, you can see the texture of the canvas and the lucid strokes he makes to make the images come alive. The art reminds me a bit of Indiana Jones. Cool vehicles like a Zeppelin, a Red Baron-like plane, aviator outfits, and animals of a future ice age. It has a lot of elements of Jules Verne, a steampunk-related future. Greg Manchess also makes a cameo in this scene. You can see him with a glass of whiskey. The composition of all the scenes are impeccable, and the lightning and color schemes Manchas uses are astounding. His brushwork is very loose, but very effective. To be honest, I don't care much for the story. I bought this book for the art of Greg Manchas. He's one of the best illustrators at the moment, and he can be in awe of the beautiful art in this book. You can learn a ton by looking at the images and learn from the compositions, layouts, brush strokes, and lighting. I'll leave links in the description box down below for the hard copy and also the Kindle version. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. In that way you won't miss a single video. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, because each time I upload a new video, you get a notification. Drawing is fun, and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!